You're probably wondering, is X Defiant worth downloading? Well, today we're going to be talking about five things X Defiant did right. And let's start with number one no SBMM. So basically no skill based matchmaking. Now this is a big topic, especially in games like Call of Duty and probably other games have this. And this is basically a matchmaking where they obviously match with other players with similar skill. Now for someone like myself, who's obviously a very skilled player, I go into a lobby and this is usually what happens, right? I go into a lobby, I dominate usually the other team, no matter if they're pretty now, good. good. I drop example, 80 kills, 90 kills while about, playing the objective and the I still team. lose, I right? My teammates that. for some reason are paired up with me or kind kind of bad no offense uh they drop 20 kills 10 kills 30 kills and i lose another team usually is a little bit evenly stacked versus me it's not a fun experience for myself at all the only i guess upside is that i get to dominate the other team and you know win a lot of gunfights in that aspect it's a little fun but i it's one it's difficult for me to even win the game and two i struggle to sometimes get kills because obviously the other team is very skilled in that aspect so for me skill-based matchmaking is not as fun that's what i think exafine is doing right you know eliminating skill-based matchmaking just makes the game more enjoyable the gaming experience more enjoyable for you for me as a player who's very skilled or maybe even a player who's not as skilled right because at the end of the day you don't know what lobby you're gonna get sometimes even now in x defined i could get a little bit of a sweatier lobby you know there's one or two really good players in there and it's just a mix of players right and sometimes i'll get a you know a little bit of an easier lobby a body your lobby you can say and then next time next game i'm having some people who are sweating their butt off trying to win the game running five I phantom shield 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 you know stacking to the occupy the point and you know it definitely you just get like a a, a mix and i i love that and i love that i can just kind of some most of the time just go into games and just enjoy myself right it's not going to be always really hard it's not going to be super stressful and i feel like that element that makes it more fun and enjoyable i get to go in games drop 100 plus kills in some lobbies and some lobbies i don't but it's all good because that mix is better that's why there's a rank play right that's the whole point of a rank play system you get unranked and then you get ranked and the ranked is where you should be more obviously skill-based matchmaking that's where you should be ranked with players around your skill and that's where the competitive and the sweatiness should stay they should have like another playlist aka unranked where is no SBMM. and x defiant hit it pretty good on the spot number two let's talk about factions now in x defiant there's something called factions right it's like they're operators they have special abilities right so i think this is such a cool element that call of duty's done before you know black ops 4 black ops 3 where you had these characters who had these special abilities and these specialists. It's just another such amazing, fun, cool aspect of the game that I personally love. And I'm sure a lot of you guys do. You get to pick your own ca character, you know, your own faction. It has a cool passive ability and then has their just their regular abilities. And on top of it, you have a super cool ultimate that's like super OP. But obviously it takes, some of them take a little skill. They're, they all have their, you know, the pros and cons. That alone, that's such a smart thing they did. And I feel like it just makes the game more fun. And it's like another element of fun and on top of its skill right it's like a little bit of a skill gap for you to get good with the abilities so for you to master the other factions and kind of get comfortable in whichever you want to use so for me that's really fun that you know one game i could use phantom um, i want the extra health i maybe want to shield play objective more next game i run echelon i got the freaking insane ultimate i got the camouflage it's just such a fun aspect and it makes the game even more fun to grind and play because you have all these cool factions and all these different special abilities moves and a game like multiplayer it's just like it's very repetitive right it's like this is why call of duty tends to get boring over time but that aspect alone helps it you know kind of keep a little bit more refreshing and, all, and a little bit more fun let's talk about number three movement that's something else x defy did pretty well now in the beta the movement was a little bit crazier but now it's a little bit nerfed it's a little more balanced i know they're planning on adjusting the hopping the bunny hopping a little bit but in general the movement is so freaking fun oh my god i love playing this game a big part of it is the movement you know the speed the slide you can jump strafe you can strafe mid-air you know you do a slide cancel jump and you can strafe left or right mid-air it's like crazy movement that's so fun to me like it's so fun that i get to utilize all these movement mechanics and if i'm a more skilled player i get to dominate other players with it like i could be you know very weak one shot whatever you want to say i just completely hit someone with a nasty jump strafe and and i and i take them out and it's just so like satisfying it's so satisfying applying my skill like that and 
hitting like a sick movement to take him out. It's, it's, it's amazing. I love it. It makes the game more fun. And I, I'm sure a lot of you guys know it's just another skill gap. Again, it's kind of like the faction thing. Movement just adds skill gap. If X Defiant was just like, uh, he just run, sprint the fire, run, sprint the fire. It wouldn't be as fun, right? It would still probably be a good game. But that movement and that skill gap, something other than like just, you know, shooting your gun, something new you have to be good at and you have to like improve. And like there's different parts of the movement. Like there's not just one thing. Like there's a couple little things you can do and you can uh, like really improve and like master your movement. And that alone, again, just makes the game more fun. It gives you another reason to grind and something to improve on. Call of Duty's had that in the past and some games have that movement, but then sometimes they don't. And like X Defiant, I mean, it's it's clean. The movement is clean. Another big thing X Defiant did really good. Number four, the maps. Oh my God. I'm sure you've heard this before many times in Call of Duty. I don't know about other games. Uh, I think Call of Duty struggled with this a lot. And you know, maybe other games as well at times, but you know, they just, they just don't have good maps sometimes. Like, you know, a new game comes out. There's like one, two, maybe three good maps out of like 12, 14 maps. And it's like, that's it. The rest are just horrible. They're just not fun at all. Like they're truly just not enjoyable to play for many reasons. Maybe there's too much clutter. Maybe there's too many angles, too many windows, rooftops, whatever it may be. Call of Duty's tend to do that. But something what I really like about X Defiant, I have like three or four really favorite like maps I really love. Sorry for cussing. But the thing is, I still like the other maps. Like they did such a good design of the maps. And to me, it's like, yeah, there's three, three to four main maps that I love the most, but the other maps are still playable to me. Like I can still play them. Do I enjoy them as much? No, but they're still good maps. So the maps in X Defiant, I think they did a really good job of making them fun, unique, nothing too crazy, you know, pretty simple for the most part. And me personally, I do enjoy the maps a lot. And I think that's what makes a game really good because at the end of the day, no matter how good the gun skill is, no matter how good the gunplay is or whatever, you are going to be running throughout this map every day. It's not like a battle royale where the map is like humongous. Like you're playing the small map and you know you want the flow to be good you don't want there to be like cheesy stuff or cheesy like angles and all this like yes so i think they did a really good job on the maps five there's new content coming out constantly we love that we love new stuff it makes the game refreshing enjoyable you're looking forward to something right now in x Defy, what they're planning to do is release a new map every month i know for season one they're releasing one map every month so they're releasing three new maps i believe one or two new guns they got a faction coming out a new faction coming out in season one so a whole new character and a whole new specialist that you can use on top of the five they already have and i know from what i understand and from what they They've said they're planning to release a new faction like every season new maps every season new weapons every season you know they're going to be constantly adding onto the game i don't know to how long but they will be continuously adding stuff to the game and that new content stuff is what we need call of duty has always struggled to do that i mean they're a very successful game i feel like they don't fully care about that like maybe a game like x defiant which is still new still growing but x defiant is literally putting all their eggs in their basket they're you know they're really going hard they're trying to add all this new content. I know they're adding new modes. They're, they're already adding Capture the Flag in Season 1. I know they, they've hinted towards TDM and Search and Destroy being added or Search and Destroy like mode, uh, you know, sometime in Season 1. So they're really just adding, 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 adding new content. And we love that. And for the people that grind the game, constantly love that. Because, again, it makes the game refreshing. Something new, something to play with new. You know, you had five cool specialists to play with. Like I was talking about the factions, five factions to play with. Now you get to play with six. Now you get to even dabble a little bit more. It's going to be awesome. Awesome, and they're doing it right. And you know what? Let's do a quick little bonus one as well. There's no proning. And trust me, at first, some of you guys may find this one weird, but I love that there's no proning. Proning allows you to hide in the nerdiest, rattiest corners, spots, and it just catches people off guard because usually people don't tend to look into the floor. Like they always look like high up. They're centered high up. So I'm actually happy that there is no proning. I feel like when I play this game, it's pretty straightforward. Obviously, the factions get a little crazy, but like in terms of gunfights, for the most part, part and like gun skill it's straightforward you know i'm running we're challenging each other we're running challenging each other running challenging each other there's no like i'm prone in behind a corner and a spot it's super secret you can't see me and i'm just gonna shoot you in the back it's very rare you get those moments and that makes the game more fun it makes the flow more fun and i'm happy <laughs> there's no proning with that being said if you want to try out x defiant go ahead it's free to play so you probably will enjoy it and hope you guys have a great day thanks for watching the video and what is your favorite map in x defiant if you already played it i'll catch you guys in the next one peace